Hi, I'm Ben. Thanks for watching the second introductory video on Anatella. Let's restart from the previous example. To open the previous example, simply drag and drop the .anatella file into the Anatella window. You can also double click it. The objective of the previous example was to simply make a copy of a text dataset. By the way, here is some vocabulary. What you see here is a data transformation graph, Anatella graph, or, in short, graph. Graphs are composed of little boxes named actions. Previously, I had an action, a little box, that reads a text file and another that writes a text file. In the new example, I still want to read a text file, but then I will write back a new text file where I will add the prefix temp to all the column names. Let's start by adding to the graph the action that renames some columns. Note that Anatella automatically reconnected the arrow so that the rename column action is now executed when you run the graph. Let's now configure the rename column action to rename some columns. I will only rename the columns age and class of worker. Let's check if it's working properly. That's okay, but it's really annoying and inefficient to be forced to write temp for all the columns. Let's see if we can do something better. I will use the action that extracts the metadata of the table. Here are all the column names. Let's copy all of them into Excel. I select the column I am interested in and I click copy. I open Excel and click Paste. Now I can use Excel to quickly edit this table. OK, I now have a correct table. Let's copy it back into Anatella. Let's check if it's working properly. That's OK. You might have noticed the second input pin to the action that renames the columns. Let's use it. I will use an inline table action. Inline tables are really handy when interacting with Excel. Basically, you select your table inside Excel and you copy paste it into the inline table. You can edit directly small inline tables inside Anatella, but most of the time the inline tables will contain values copy pasted from Excel. Since all the renames that I need to do are already specified inside the inline table, I don't need anything here anymore. Let's check if it's working properly. That's OK. Please note that I could have used this script to obtain the same effect using only Anatella without Excel at all. The objective of the example was only to illustrate the interaction between Excel and Anatella. Let's now talk about hard drive cache. Here is a data transformation graph that performs a complex join between three tables, computes one new column, and outputs the resulting table to a text file. Let's now assume that the expression defining this new column is difficult to write because of its high complexity. To obtain the correct expression, I need to test different alternatives, up to the point I find the right expression. While working, I will click several times the output pin of the action to test different expressions. Each time I click the output pin, Anatella must recompute the three sorts, do the complex join, and the variable creation. This recomputation can take a fair amount of time, especially since it involves three sorts, and sorting actions are always slow. It would be nice if Anatella could compute once and for all the table that goes out of the join, here, save it, and always reuse it instead of recomputing everything from scratch again and again, each time we test a different expression. This is exactly the objective of the hard drive cache. A hard drive cache stores the results of the computation so that Anatella doesn't need to recompute everything from scratch again and again. How to create a hard drive cache? Simply click the output pin of an action. When you click the output pin of an action, Anatella shows you the output table in the new data preview window, but at the same time, Anatella also creates a hard drive cache. Let's create a hard drive cache just before the action that creates the new column. You can now write your expressions and test it directly. 
Thanks to the new hard drive cache, Anatella gives you an instant data preview of your latest changes. This unique Anatella functionality allows you to very rapidly and easily develop new data transformations. The hard drive cache is a unique feature that substantially increases your productivity. No need to wait until the computations are finished. Everything becomes fast and nearly instantaneous. When there is a circle around a blue pin, it means that a hard drive cache is available at that location. A green circle means that it's exactly at that precise pin that we are already looking at in the data preview window. When there is a hard drive cache available, in other words, when there is a small circle around the blue dot, you can always click on a pin and instantaneously see the the associated table. This is very handy to look rapidly at your data at different points of your graph. Let's now change the master table of the join and add a new column inside it. Since this table changed, all the hard drive caches are no longer valid and Anatella automatically removes them. You can see that all the yellow circles disappeared. Now, because of this additional column, the metadata of the tables changed. This situation is absolutely horrible for any classical ETL because they will complain that your metadata change and refuse to work. To make it work again, you have to go through all your little boxes and reconfigure everything so that it works with the modified metadata. This is a very painful procedure. Luckily, Anatella is metadata free, meaning that I can run this graph even if all the metadata changed. Furthermore, we didn't even have to specify the type for example, string or double of the new column that we just added. Anatella just works without you specifying any metadata. This is a unique functionality. Now, think a little about the maintenance of your data transformation scripts in your company. With other ETLs, each time you add a column somewhere inside your databases, you have to nearly rewrite all of your scripts. This is what I call intolerable. The metadata-free functionality of Anatella provides a tremendous gain in productivity for you and your company. I can remove my new column. It still works, no fuss at all. With Anatella, you don't need to care about metadata because 99% of the Anatella data transformations are metadata free. But if you want to, Anatella still offers you all the required functionalities to do so. Let's now talk about optimizing your data transformation graphs to obtain the best speed. Let's go back to our first example. The graph reads a text file, adds the prefix temp to all the column names, and writes back all the columns into another text file. Now, in addition to the current processing, I also want to write back into still another text file the two columns age and education. There are basically two ways of doing this additional processing with Anatella. Here is the first and the most efficient way. And this is the second way. You might have noticed that Anatella spontaneously created a hard drive cache here without asking you anything about it. This hard drive cache is required by Anatella to run the graph. Basically, when you run the graph, Anatella extracts the contents of the text file, puts it into a hard drive cache, and sends the contents of the hard drive cache to the two branches of the graph. Hard drive caching is great for interactively developing your transformation graphs. When you execute Anatella in a non-interactive scheduled mode, it's better to avoid creating any hard drive caches because it reduces the I.O. performed by Anatella and significantly speeds up the whole process. Automatic creation of hard drive caches happens when you have a diamond shape somewhere in your graph. Most of the time, you can avoid it by rewriting your graphs in a slightly different way. This concludes our second video introduction to Anatella. You are now able to efficiently develop any data transformation scripts with Anatella. Using a combination of unique features, Anatella boosts your productivity. With a little bit of experience, the productivity that you get with Anatella far exceeds what you could get from any other tool. Thanks for watching. See you.